Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And we're here to talk about a subject of health forensics and that is Schumann resonances. And in particular, audio equipment that you use to play Schumann resonances. And there's a big difference between audio equipment and the ability to produce the Schumann resonance wave of 7.83 Hertz. And we're going to demonstrate that by showing you the output of a speaker connection that is connected to a stereo system and the output of a headphone connection of an mp3 player and the red is the stereo system speaker and the yellow is the mp3 output and I'm now going to put on the stereo system so this, that's the waveform on the stereo system and this is the waveform of the mp3 player and you can see that they're quite comparable. Now that starts changing when we go down into the lower frequency ranges. So I'm gonna go to track eight on this CD on both the MP3 player and the stereo system. What you notice is there's a very big difference. And that difference that we're seeing is a difference in the amplifier stage of each unit. Now, the stereo system, the speaker output is not faithfully reproducing the low frequency. And this is a problem with a lot of stereo systems. A lot of hi-fi enthusiasts will recognize what I'm talking about. And that is, they don't faithfully reproduce all of the frequency range, and particularly at these low 7.83 Hertz ranges that Schumann resonances function in. There's stereo systems out there that won't reproduce it. And as you can see, the yellow waveform is the headphone output from our MP3 player, and it is faithfully being reproduced. But the stereo system speaker connection doesn't appear to be able to reproduce the waveform. So I'm gonna move to one more track over. So we're gonna go to track nine. This is double the frequency. So we're on track nine on both, and we just need to get through the intro. And you can see that we've got distortion in the waveform on the one coming out of the stereo system. So you can see that the little peaks of the red waveform, you see there's a little kink in there. And that's harmonic distortion, so it's not faithfully reproducing the sine wave. So let's go to the next track. So this is track 10, and we're looking at a CD that I made that complements the book that I showed you and it was developed for researching Schumann resonances and it was only when I was verifying the output difference between the CD and the mp3 player that I actually noticed that this particular stereo system doesn't have a very good amplifier in it and if you don't have a good amplifier that can produce the 7.83 hertz frequency well, you're not really listening to Schumann resonances because you're listening to distortion and that distortion is probably not going to be very healthy. So you need to be very, very careful what type of equipment you listen to your Schumann resonances on. And that was the purpose of this video was to show you that even though all audio curtain looks the same, it can have very different performances down at the 7.83 Hertz range and the only way to really verify that your Schumann resonance soundtrack has been produced correctly is to get an oscilloscope and hook it up to either the headphone output or your speaker output and see what's going on and that's when I discovered that this particular stereo system that has the speakers wasn't actually faithfully reproducing the waveform and both amplitude and also the distortion levels that are in there. It's got very, very high distortion and very low amplitude at these low Schumann resonance frequencies. So that was the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.